How's it going guys? Welcome back to Constant Ready Fitness and in today's video we're going to go over four key bench press tips to make sure that you are being optimal and efficient when you're doing the movement. So first one is very simple but also very effective for a lot of people is making sure when you set up your eyesight is directly underneath the bar. If Shauna were to slide a few inches up on the bench and then try to unrack the bar, the hooks are pretty close to in the way and then sometimes people might do that or nick them and it kind of throws up the whole lift, especially if you're going for a one rep max. So make sure every single time eyes are directly underneath the bar, then unrack it and bring it over your chest so you have plenty of clearance and the hooks won't get in the way. Just like that. Next, kind of two pieces but they both tie in very importantly and they're cohesive with each other. So the first one is making sure that your lower back has a slight arch in it. Nothing too excessive, but you don't want to have your lower back flat. You want that small little curve in your spine and then keep your core nice and tight when you're doing that. And then also having your feet super close to the bench. And if you can, have your heels flat on the floor. If not, snag a plate or something that you can wedge underneath your feet and the floor so you can have that flat foot and keep your feet really close to you. This is gonna help me make you nice and stable and allow you to apply optimal force up and not lose any uh, force or stability in the bench. So for example, if Shauna were to raise her feet off the floor, I could w wiggle her pretty easily. Where she puts her feet on the floor, now she's nice and stable and she's solid. And she, when she presses uh, up, up on the bar against that bench, she's gonna be applying all her force into that bar, which is what we want. Why would you waste any energy? Next. I see a lot of people do, especially when it comes to like push-ups or things like that, where when they unrack the bar and they come down, they let their elbows flare out and make it really awkward and awkward and then press it back up. When you bring that bar down, you want to come down at a 45 degree angle, just like you would with a, a push-up and then bring the bar back up. It's most optimal here. If you were to go and push somebody, you wouldn't push them like this. You have your elbows down and back and then press forward. That's where you have most power at. So if you're ever gonna go push somebody, make sure elbows down and back, you'll push them much further. <laughs> Lastly, make sure when you are pressing that bar all the way up and extending your arms, you're keeping your shoulders down and back and your back and your lats and your back nice and wide. So what I mean by that is, Shauna, go ahead and show me and you pressing up a little too far on the bar where her, like, she's raising her shoulders off the bench and she's like over exaggerating that press. Unnecessary, not optimal for your shoulders. Keep your shoulders down and back. All you need to do is extend your arms, squeeze your chest nice and tight, and that's the completion of the rep. Bow, awesome. PR. PR, woo, yeah, it probably is for you. <laughs> Those are four key tips. Make sure you apply all of them to your bench press. Your numbers will go through the roof. Your sets will be so much easier, and you're gonna wanna comment on this video and say, thanks, Hudson, you are amazing. Thank you to my awesome assistant, Shauna. If you guys have any questions or comments on the bench press, make sure you leave them down below. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe for plenty more, and we'll see you guys next time.